Making a full-time income from creating content online, working from anywhere, pursuing your passion. One of the most important ways to achieve this goal is to figure out how to rank on Google. So here are nine things you can start doing today to do just that. Number one, create your keyword list. SEMrush and Ahrefs are two of the most popular SEO tools among experts. Search engines work by analyzing keywords that people are searching for, and these tools help you pick the right ones to add to your content. For this example, we'll use Ahrefs to create your keyword list. Go to Keyword Explorer, enter a keyword, and evaluate the different keyword ideas that Ahrefs gives you. As a rule of thumb, the best keywords to target are relevant to your audience to make sure that they're actually using these keywords in Google have high search volume to reach the widest possible segment of your audience, and have low competition, meaning your content stands a better chance of ranking. If you're struggling to find short keywords that meet all of these criteria, don't sweat it. Go long tail instead. Number two, go long tail if you're new to SEO. To generate a strong long tail keyword, you basically have to take a high ranking keyword and add some extra details to the end of it. For example, if how to start the perfect blog is a high ranking search term, try creating a piece of content about how to start the perfect blog as a college student. In the end though, user engagement is more important than stuffing your content with a bunch of keywords. If you focus on creating high quality content, you'll retain more users and build a large audience over time. But how do you ensure that your content is higher quality than your competitors? Let's talk about the skyscraper technique. Number three, use the skyscraper technique. The skyscraper technique is an SEO tactic where you aim to create better content than whatever is currently ranking on the front page of Google. With this technique, it's honestly not that hard to make content that ranks better than other results. All you have to do is build a little more on top of what's there, like a skyscraper. It's not the perfect metaphor, but here's how. Make your content longer and more in depth by adding more subtopics, statistics, and quotes. Make your content fresher with information that's more up to date than your competitors. Design a nicer looking landing page that also loads faster and is mobile friendly. And add images, videos, audio, and other mixed media to your post. Once you're done writing, it's time to look at page optimization. Number four, optimize your page content. While you should definitely add keywords in your content's body and headers whenever possible, don't overdo it. Google analyzes the way your audience responds to your page, including how long they stay and whether they click to explore the rest of your site. Also pay close attention to metadata. This is a piece of text inside of your page code that describes your content to Google. With good metadata, search engines can show your content to the right audience. Two metadata tags to pay attention to are title tags, Aside from describing your content to search engines, the title tag appears as a headline in the search results. So make it brief, informative, and super clickable. And image tags. These enable search engines to understand the subjects and objects contained within the pictures you embed on your website. This can help you rank higher in image search results. Okay, page optimization, check. Next up, a super common question. How often should you post? The simple answer is more. Number five. Post and update your content frequently. Frequency of posting doesn't directly increase SEO rankings, but it gets your website crawled more often and indexed faster. On the other hand, if your content doesn't change often, crawlers won't check back often either. As a result of this, your new posts will take longer to appear in the search engine results. So make sure you always keep your most relevant pages up to date. Audiences also develop routines around the content they consume every day. By being more consistent with your content schedule, your audience is more likely to develop a habit of consuming your content. Now let's switch gears and explore how to make sure you're making content that your readers actually value. Number six, run SEO tests on your blog. At some point, after you've been posting content for a while, you're going to start editing existing pages. When doing this, it's good practice to run an SEO test with a tool like SE Optimer. SEO tests help you understand whether the changes you make are actually driving more traffic or not. This data is essential for your website's growth. Use it to double down on your most engaging content and steer clear from content that your audience doesn't seem excited about. And once you find a few formulas that work, you should start exposing yourself to other established audiences. Number seven, link up with other blogs. Other bloggers are always interested in increasing their site reach among new audiences. So don't be afraid to reach out and propose a collaboration that benefits the both of you. Aside from a referral, you can build backlinks with other sites. This is where a website or blog's article hyperlinks to your site or article. And this tells Google that your content is authoritative. The metric for this is called domain authority score. The more backlinks you have, the higher your domain authority. And the higher your domain authority, yep, you guessed it, the more likely your page is to rank high in search results. Let's illustrate this with an example. If you go into Ahrefs, explore the keyword NFT, you can see that it's super hard to rank for. Ahrefs estimates that you'll need over 800 backlinks to rank in the top 10. Here's another underrated ranking factor, social shares. Number eight, 
Add share buttons to your site. Giving users a simple and easy way to share your content across social media will increase the chances of them doing just that. While Google doesn't directly count social shares as backlinks, it does view shares, likes, and comments as signals that your content is useful for your target audience. Number nine, use Linktree to improve SEO. Since Linktree contains backlinks to your content, it naturally helps you rank higher in search engines. Linktree improves your SEO in the following ways. On average, each visitor to a Linktree profile clicks 1.8 links, almost double the amount of engagement you'll get if you just put a single link in your bio. This signals to Google that you've got interesting content in your profile. Google doesn't just care about traffic, but also trustworthiness. And Linktree has a domain reputation score of 91 on Google. It doesn't get much higher than that. Lastly, Linktree Pro lets you fully customize your meta titles and descriptions so you can better control how your Linktree ranks and appears on Google. Now, once a bunch of people start visiting your site, you're going to want to monetize those visitors. And one of the most surefire ways to make money from your audience is with a newsletter. 